are amazing. Show you the back, the other sleeve. In this video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to refashion a man shirt into a contemporary dress. I'm your do it yourself sustainable fashion designer here to inspire, motivate, and share ideas to refashion clothing. And let's get started. For this project, you're going to need the main part of the dress, which is going to be this gorgeous purple pinstripe shirt. And what I'm going to do in order to make it a contemporary dress, I'm adding those, these two shirts. So what I'm going to do in order to create the design is to remove these sleeves, take one sleeve from that shirt and one sleeve from that shirt and add it to the main body of this shirt. And this shirt has a pocket. So I'm going to take a pocket from this shirt and add that pocket to this one. This one doesn't have one and that will be the starting point for this project. The first thing to do is you're going to need a seam ripper and I'm going to remove the sleeves from this shirt and one from each of the other. Now it's time to remove the pocket using a seam ripper. pocket is now pinned into place and then all I need to do is take it to my sewing machine and sew it down. I do have a video tutorial on how to sew a patch pocket please do check that out it the link will be in the description. The sleeves are now being removed and the pocket has been added and it's ready for the new sleeves. I've decided to keep both the sleeves the same and once these have been gathered and tucked we then need to cut before we come to that stage. Before I add the sleeves I'm going to cut the shirt so I've got a marker here for the length that I want the top part of the dress to be and this is going to be cut away. So I'm going to measure down and then place another marker here, place a pin and keep the same measurement and place a pin. Now I'm going to cut, you can always mark this line if you wish with your favourite marker. I'm just going to So I'm now ready to work on the bottom section of this dress. So I've got the bottom section of the shirt and I'm placing it onto one of the shirts as a template for cutting and then I'll do the same to the other. We're now on to the sleeves. I've inserted one sleeve already and this is how it looks. It's gorgeous. I'm going to show you how I do the gathers and how I do these little tucks towards the shoulder point. The first thing you need to do is do some gathering stitches in order to create the gorgeous gathers on this sleeve head. Next what we're going to do, these pens are actually indicating the tucks. So what I do then is I Take the pin to roughly about here, I'll measure this from that point there, get a pin and place a pin straight in like so and do the same for the next one which just goes just below that pin head like so, get another pin and place that straight just like the first one and remove these two pins and then take it to my sewing machine and sew a straight line down. The sleeves are now done, the sleeves are on, 
I'm just ready to do the middle section before doing the bottom section so let's get started with that. For the two shirts that are left I'm going to get a strip from each sleeve for each shirt so this is the underarm here I'm going to draw a straight line so I can get two strips from this one and also the other shirt. And the middle section is now being gathered and I've joined it to the other shirt. So here you can see the buttons. And now all I need to do is add this section to the lower section which I'm going to show you now. So this is the middle section. I'm just showing you how this is going to come together as the dress. So I'm going to add the lower section which is also gathered in the same method as the middle section. So this will be added to that edge and this edge will be added to the top part of this dress. So what I'm going to do now is add the lower tier to the bottom tier. So I need to just get drawing those, lapping that over like so the bottom here and then put a pin in and then I'm going to place it on top of the lower section which is here and then I'm going to pin all the way around this process takes a while because you want to make sure the gathers are even and there's a lot of gathers in this dress so I'll just keep pinning until it's in place. And all that I need to do is to sew in between these two tracks here. Okay, we're almost there. The tiers have been sewn together. As you can see, these beautiful gathers on both the layers or tiers. And all I need to do now is overlock the seams. Let me just show you what the seams look like. So they need to be overlocked. I'll take it to my overlocker so that you can see how I can make those seams nice and neat. And I am done. All the overlocking has been done to both tiers, the bottom one, the middle section, and also around the armhole. And all I need to do now is a big reveal and show you what it looks like. And here is the end result. How gorgeous is this? <gasps> Look at that. I need to do a twirl. I definitely need to do a twirl. It's gorgeous, I love it. The sleeves are amazing. Show you the back, the other sleeve, front, the little slit. It's gorgeous, it's, it's absolutely an, an, an amazing, oh, I would say that though, wouldn't I? Yeah, contemporary summer shirt dress. Well, I hope I have inspired you to get some men's shirts and refashion them and this is the result of what you can produce. So if you like this video tutorial then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget that you can also give me a super thanks which will be amazing. Do check the description. In the description there will be links to the sewing supplies I used in this tutorial and also more importantly is going to be the uh, sewing techniques that I've used in this project and if you've got any ideas for any other projects to do with shirts please put those in the comment box below and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.